Is it working? Okay, there was a issue before. Um, really short video, or at least I plan to, but we all know that never works. Three pounds down this week. So I lost the pound I had gained last week, plus two more. So, of course, very happy about that. I don't know what the hell I did. I really, really don't, because, I mean, the hell did I do? <laughs> Uh, it, it's no different than what I had been doing, F you know, the, the tuna, the chicken, yeah, there's the chicken, um, and then my three-day thing, which is eggs, although this is the second week I did not, did not, did not eat breakfast, so technically for six days I have not had breakfast on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, the chicken breast for lunch, and then the beef patty for dinner the half gallon of water all the time and the little bit of exercising which I've gotten better at. I started off only being able to do about five minutes straight cycling at a time and then um, my my thighs started getting sore and hot and tired and y you know how it gets when you like do something so long. Uh, but now I'm able to handle at least ten minutes without feeling anything so that's always a good thing. So obviously I'm trying to do at least a total of no less than five to ten minutes to the longest I've gone is I think a half hour worth of uh, cycling for the day. So obviously the more I can do that the more it helps and, it, and at least it's something. I mean honest to God I'd rather ride a bicycle. I'd rather you know go outside and, and ride around town and stuff but I, I can't do it because of my knee mostly. But at least this is some form of exercise compared to how I normally am which is just sitting down because I'm not in any pain or discomfort when I sit down. That's the bitch with these knees. When I moved, before I joined the, the clinic, before anything mostly, um, I thought I had a fixable issue. I thought it was just a really, really bad pulled muscle that took like two years to heal. But, you know, then I found out about the arthritis and the first thing I asked uh, just like the first thing my mom asked when she found out she had cancer the first time was, how do we fix it? And I was heartbroken when he said, you don't fix this. I was absolutely heartbroken. And what arthritis is, is basically there's no more, if I'm understanding this correctly, there's no more cartilage in your joint. Your joint is any part of your body that moves. Your knuckles, your ankle, your wrist, shoulder, hip. That's all cartilage. And once that's gone, that's where the pain starts coming from. So I don't have severe arthritis, which is good. I have moderate, no, mild to moderate, mild to moderate arthritis. And um, it really sucks because you're, you wanted to try, I wanted to try and better my life, get healthier, you know, lose some weight for my self-esteem and, and to have a healthy pregnancy because that's the bottom line goal with this. Not even so much me about myself and my looks, but so I can have a healthy pregnancy and healthy kids. That's all I care about with this diet, honest to God. Um, you know, so it gets really disheartening because I really loved and personally was, was kind of good at dancing. And I figured I'd dance the weight off, which I still stand by as a really great form of exercise. But until my knees get better, which losing weight has helped with that considerably. If you guys saw how I walked, you know, a year ago when my brother and I first bought the house, or even, you know, back in February, March, before I started the diet. I mean, when I lost my first 10 pounds, I was walking better. It's, it's miraculous, or five pounds, is it five pounds? No, it was like five, ten pounds, yeah, ten pounds. And I could see the, the difference in the walking, and I was ecstatic by it. Um, and it gets a little better with each pound I lose, so I'm very thankful for that. But I still can't do some stuff that I would love to rather be doing. Like, I could maybe dance for a little bit, but then I'd have to stop because it's going to start hurting. Um... I still can't handle walking around an entire supermarket or a Walmart. I still need the little motor carts, which, again, not happy about, thankful for, but not happy that I need. It's very frustrating, especially at Walmart when they're all gone. Or, you know, they don't have the greeters anymore, so nobody charges these things. 
So it's a fucking Russian roulette shot that I go to Walmart, get a cart, if I can find one, and that it has enough power in it for me to do the shopping I need to do and get to the and get outside. I do try to walk when I'm done shopping. I do try to if if I have only a handful of bags, I will leave the cart in the store and walk out um towards the car cuz my brother is with me cuz it's easier for him to drop me off than me. I know I probably should, but I get it it's so silly. I get nervous that something happens, I'll walk funny or I fall down. And it's just nicer to have that second person there in case something happened. Not that I really have any reason to. I've never fallen down. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a fall risk. But I'm, I'm totally losing myself. The point is, is that I do try and walk when I can. You know, I, I, I do try. And I know when Dan comes home, don't even get me started on that, I, I will more than likely push myself more. So I know I should push myself now, but you know how it is when you don't have too much motivation. Or you just, you know, it's one of those lazy days and you just don't feel like doing it. I don't know. I'm sure there's a bunch of you just saying, move your fat ass. So, but three pounds down. So, I'm I'm pretty happy. This is probably, I don't know if I'm getting into what I weighed in high school or if this is what I weighed in high school. I don't know. Either way, um, you know, I'm getting close to the least amount I've weighed in a long time. Although I'm sure this is probably the least amount I've weighed in a long time, too. Mm-hmm. So, but yay for that. Always a yay. I hope you guys are doing good on your programs and diets if you are. And, you know, always remember, even if you may have a setback and you gain a pound or two, don't don't try not to let it get to you too bad. I know sometimes you can't help that, but just try. You know, I believe in you. I'm sure you guys are doing wonderful and uh you know hopefully here's to another 2 or 3 pounds loss for me next week so remember you are more than just a number and i will see you guys next week keep it up <laughs>